Ben from Proof of Africa. Today, we're going to present you a new format. In this format, we would like to present you a bit some of the tools that you can use within the Cardano ecosystem. The first one we would like to present you is Project Catalyst. Project Catalyst uh, has been launched by IOG in order to help people to present projects to the community. Project that might help to increase the reach of the Cardano ecosystem in general, and also things that can, of course, drive Cardano adoption. For this one, we're just going to quickly present the platform and also how you can apply for funds. And some other in some other videos, we're going to go a bit in detail into how to become an advisor, how to review the projects and so on. So for the first one, we're going to show you the platform and how to apply for funds. So first of all, a little bit about Catalyst. So Catalyst has been launched in order to be able to help people who have ideas to get funded in order to develop the ecosystem. The funds are coming from the treasury, the Cardano treasury, which is fueled by the transaction, transaction fees. Every time there is a transaction, a fraction of the rewards are sent automatically by the protocol into this treasury. IOG created a tool in order to allow every ADA holder to be able to vote for the project that they think are the most interesting for the community. We are now at Fund 4. So in this Fund 4, uh, IOG decided to create several categories. Those categories are going to help the people to find where they can apply in order to present the projects. At the first look, it's not really easy and there is a lot of people who are a bit scared because they think that, yeah, you know, I'm not sure that my ID is so good and stuff. It's not a problem. Presenting a project doesn't mean that you're necessarily going to be funded. The ID is more to present things. The most advanced and the most interesting going to be funded, but everybody is going to apply for a catalyst going to be able to have feedbacks from the community and it's one of the most inter interesting feature in this you don't necessarily need to have all the skill to develop your project but at least on this platform you can show your projects and you can get the high of the community first of all we're just going to briefly go through the different categories that are available for font for and then we're just going to enter it a little bit and to see how you can submit a proposal. For font 4, we can see that there is six main uh, categories in which you can apply. First of all, developer ecosystem. Second one, the apps and integration. Distributed decision making. Proposer outreach. Catalyst value onboarding and local community centers. There is a seventh uh, category, but it's more for people to give ideas on what should be included during font, font six already. So we're not gonna go into detail in each of the category. You can just go on the IDA scale platform. Uh, I'm gonna drop all the links, all the necessary links in, this, in the description. So you can just click on it and go directly to what's interesting for you. So once you are on the Cardano section of IDA scale, you should first of all register. We're not gonna go through this process because it's pretty simple. You know, as all the register, you just need a, a, an email address and a password. Once you connect it, so you're gonna arrive on this platform. This is the general platform. And in this one, you can see what are the active campaigns. For us, we're just gonna start to make an example with developer ecosystem. So once you enter this, 
you can see a bit more what are the different features inside each category. First of all, you have a small description and you have an idea of what are the font available. But this one, there is like $400,000 worth of ADA who's going to be distributed to the project that's going to be voted for. On this spot, the idea is to see how can we create a positive developer experience that helps the developer focus on building su successful apps. What does it mean? It means that IOG in this section wants IDs that's going to promote people to join the Cardano ecosystem, new developers, people with skills are going to help to create the most comfortable uh, platform or tools in order for developers to try and develop things on Cardano. So in the general ID with Catalyst, it's split it into different phases. So first of all, it's the proposal submission phase. So in this one, you're going to create your application. But as soon as this uh, phase ends, so for phone four on March 3rd, you cannot create or apply for new project, but you're still going to have time to refine your proposal for this phone four. So you're going to have after that a refine phase of one week where you're going to start to get feedbacks from the community and feedbacks from the advisors and a final and finalizing uh, period also of one week during which you can continue to enhance your proposal in order to make it fit as best as, as good as possible to what the advisors say and also to what to the community say it's going to be followed by a assessing period of one week where advisors gonna give you feedbacks gonna continue to ask you questions but after the finalizing period, you will not be able to change things. You're going to be able to answer the question, but not to modify your submission. So once you're ready to start submitting something, you're going to click on this button here, submit proposal. Once you arrive on this uh, proposal submission page, it's going to be pretty simple. You're going to have to add descriptions for the several sections. So first of all, you kind of check to be sure that you are in the right campaign, okay, the right section where you want to put your um, proposal. Then you're going to have to find a title. So what's important in the title, it's catchy, because like if there is a lot of proposal, everybody not going to have the time to go through all of them. So the title needs to be precise enough and catchy enough in order to attract attention, but be careful. Uh, it needs to be no longer than 35 characters. The second section, which is really important, is the problem statement. Because if you create something on a Cardano, you have to explain what problem it's going to solve. So first of all, you define the problem you want to tackle with your uh, with your app or with your solution, and you, and you register it. So you have to be careful because once again, uh, there is only 140 characters, so you need to make it short and simple. You're going to have a bit later, we're going to see like a section where you can detail your project. The other part is going to be like describe your solution to the problem. So like basically what your solution is going to bring to the ecosystem and how it's going to tackle the problems. The next one is a relevant experience. It's here really important to show that the team you have or yourself are experienced enough or have relevant skills in order to develop the projects. An interesting part in this is you don't need to necessarily have all the skills to develop your projects, but you have to be sure that your experience is relevant enough to tackle at least a part of the problem. Then, and it's a cool thing with Catalyst, it's like as you present your project, you can also say, oh, I'm looking for people, I'm looking for a developer, I'm looking for whatever, but you're going to be able to ask for the help of the community. If you want to develop something and you're a part of the skill, not a problem, apply, submit, 
and then you can you're going to be able to find people to help you then you're going to have a little section where you can uh, put if you have a, a website already or if you are on the dev parts if you have a github so like people can see actually what are your skills and what you're able to do then there is like the important section which is the detail plan so this one is not uh, blocked in terms of characters numbers so you can detail as much as you want uh, an advice i would say on this one is try to be detailed enough to be catchy but as soon as you can only put text try to do something detailed but not too detailed you can actually add some other documents like pictures charts uh, PDF presentation or wherever like you can detail a bit more and actually add visuals because it's also really important for people to once again as I said needs to be catchy then you can add some tags to a bit define what's inside your project so you know how it works tags but the idea is like to get the catchy words or the most important words in order for people to directly find what you are talking about and what you want to develop Parts that are really important, it's the requested fonts. Um, so there is some problem in the past. It's written here and it's always been written. Only use numbers. Okay, so let's say I need 10,000. I put 10,000. Okay, I don't put uh, like I've seen before 10k or 10 dot or whatever. No, no, no. Just, just numbers. It's sounds a bit dumb but it's really important then you reach you enter your email who referred you and you can also already put like the ad address payment so it's where the aid is going to be sent to your account because even if it's written at the beginning that it's going to be four hundred thousand dollar worse in ada so like the rewards or like the funds going to be paid to you in ada it's really important to know it here and here at the end, you can see where you can attach a document. Once it's done, you can either save it as a draft if you want to come back on this or submit. For me, especially if like you are close to the closing date, just submit it. You're going to have two more weeks to refine the proposal and to enhance it. Now I'm going to show you one of the proposal we did during fun three in order to show you a bit what we did so during form three uh, you're going to be able to vote for that soon uh, since the 5th of march uh, so we created with proof of africa abcd the african blockchain center for developers so as you can see so like we create all the, the first uh, categories i told you but what is important here is like the detail plan so in the first part we explain a bit briefly what we want to do and we also relate it to what we've done before for the community for people to know a bit what we did then we explain a bit more about what we want to do okay so like what's going to be the field that's going to be fulfilled by our mission what we're going to do what are going to be our impact on the ground and so on really to see that what we want to develop going to have an impact for people and for the overall community, which is something that people want to know. It's at the end of the day, a Cardano fund. We detailed a bit the, the budget because it's also something important. You ask for fun. The community wants to know how you're going to use it. So it's, it doesn't need to be super detailed, but the, the more it's detailed, better people are going to understand what you want to achieve with it. And then you can as we did here present some some charts uh, some pictures showing that what you've done and so on we also uh, created a presentation you can see a bit more in detail what we've done and so the idea is this it's to go like to be a bit more detailed to present and it looks a bit better as well so it's also uh, easier for people to to see what we're doing so now you know a bit how you submit a proposal. It's not rocket science, it's pretty simple. And as I said before, you don't need to master every skill needed for the project. If you have a team already constituted with all the skills, it's better. But if you don't, it's not a problem. You can apply 
and you can get first of all feedbacks from the community which is priceless because sometimes when you develop an idea you have something for yourself but showing to the world and getting some feedback it's really really good in order to improve uh, the the project and what you can do with it so when you're done with that you're gonna wait for the refining phase the finalizing phase and then the assessment but it's a first tutorial we wanted to do really short in order to show to people that it's not super complicated to apply as i said applying doesn't mean you're going to be funded but you're going to get useful feedback from the community it's going to help you to be known first of all and to improve and refine your proposal and perhaps you can submit it if you're not voted for you can submit it for another fund and refine it and so on so that was our uh, first tutorial we're going to come back later with some other uh, explanation on how actually to assess those projects and how to become an advisor but for this first tutorial it's okay so please let us know if it's interesting or not uh, if you would prefer us to do it another way uh, if you find it useful and stuff please uh, just subscribe drop a like if you if you think it's good um, and I and I say you bye and I'm gonna see you soon. Ciao ciao.